What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Evan King. Back with another one. Yo, I be scouring YouTube looking for just shit that I find entertaining. Whether it's comedy, whether it's drama, action, conversations that matter. I found this show, right? And I think it's called UDY, whatever. I'm gonna figure out what it stands for later. But anyways, this dude, who's like the modern day version of Cheaters. He basically sets up sting operations to catch either men or women, caught in lies, cheating on their partners, and I ain't gonna front. I watched one episode and I was just like, yo, I gotta make a reaction to this shit. So I have a couple of other reaction videos uploading within the within the week. Be sure to stay in tune because I'm gonna be dropping them all throughout the week. But this is another banger. I haven't seen this one yet. And it's BF test his girlfriend's loyalty. Does he overreact? And it's just gonna be good because all like the one that I watched was good and I was just like, nah, son, I, we, we gotta tap in. But I appreciate you guys for rocking out with me, man. Like, share, and just and subscribe. You know, you know the vibes. Let's get into it. Today we wanted to find out if Chelsea would be willing to trade her boyfriend Michael for a rich guy and a modeling career. And a modeling career. What's up, guys, and welcome back to a brand new. This dude Sergio enjoys his job way too much. The amount of times you're gonna see a smile or a laugh on this dude's face, and you know the old saying, like, yo, if you enjoy what you do, it never feels like work. This dude puts a lot into these projects, yo. These, 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 I guess, skits, for lack of a better term. They're just so elaborate. This dude is a, a mini genius, but he just enjoys this shit too much. You can't be sitting there laughing and smiling while a nigga's getting his heart broken. Or shit. New video today. I am chilling here with the homie Michael. And as you all know, later this week, we're going to be placing his girlfriend Chelsea to the gold digger test. Michael, more than anyone, you know how this could all go down. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. Meet the homie. He looked Michael. nervous already. So if Michael looks familiar to you guys, you guys probably remember him from a previous episode that we shot with him. The only difference is, is in that episode, we hired him to play the rich decoy. But in this episode, Michael will be testing his own girlfriend. Why do you want to place Chelsea to the test? So after the Bennett video, man, look, I really started to think about things. It made I, you question your, like, yeah. relationship. Because, <laughs> because... There's things when you look when I look back at stuff like it, it could fill a book. Uh -huh. So I'm just gonna say that it could fill a book. Yeah. <laughs> it can be nothing, but at the same time, it's like you know. Yeah. I've had my share of just you know an honesty. Yeah. In life. Yeah. So I want to make sure. So this test spanned the course of two weeks, and we split it up into three phases. Two Phase weeks. number one took place in the studio apartment. It was Michael's job to bring Chelsea here. See, Chelsea actually models here and there as a side gig. So for this test, we wanted to see if she would be willing to trade Michael for someone who could help her make modeling her actual career. Well, that someone would be our friend Blake. Blake would be pretending to be a successful talent manager and would eventually tell Chelsea that he can help her make modeling her career if she accepts going on a date with him. Hello. Michael, what is good? Just making sure we're still good to go. Is everything going good? Everything's going good. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Remember to go in through the front of the building because we're parked in the back, okay? So remember to go in through the front of the building. Okay, bye. So as I said, it was Michael's job to bring Chelsea here for phase number one. Michael did so by convincing Chelsea that Blake wanted to hire her for a photo shoot in his studio apartment. We had Michael tell Chelsea that Blake was a talent manager and that she Ugh, would be modeling Andrew. some merch from a female influencer that Blake supposedly manages. In reality, though, we simply got these t-shirts at Walmart for like five bucks each. Anyways, to impress Chelsea, Blake would have her model the merch next to his supposed Tesla Model X, which we parked inside the studio. And and to make the photo shoot just even more legit, we recruited the help of our very good friend and popular TikToker, Denzel Crispy. This like, do you see how elaborate these shits are? Like, I'm telling you, this shit makes me not even feel comfortable going on a date with my actual shorty. Because it's like, bro, these are just everyday things. I don't know, man. Denzel elaborate. would be playing the role of the photographer. Together, these two would be executing phase number one and creating the perfect segue for phase number two. In order to hear exactly what is going on, I'm going to be putting this phone right under there. So with our game plan ready to go and our hidden cameras rolling, all that was left to do was to head to the back parking lot in order to hide. All right, guys, so right now we are in the back of the building and Michael is going to be parking in the front of the building and then walking to the apartment and stuff. But that won't be for another 20 minutes or so, so 
for now, we just chill. So Michael would be arriving with Chelsea within the next 20 minutes or so. For previous text and phone call conversations, Michael already knew exactly what was going down and what he had to do for this first phase. What's hey, up, my guy? Good to see you, man. Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. Chelsea nice to come over. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. All right, guys, follow me this way. Mr. Denzel. What's up, guys? So he's actually the photographer for today. So what you're going to be doing, Chelsea, is that you're going to be sitting right in front of this. Yo, side note. I've noticed when I started watching these episodes that like when, like whoever they're trying to get in these plots, they cover up their faces with the emojis. I'm like, all right, I, I get why these people would not want to have their face shown on a platform that's going to be viewed by millions of people. I get it. But it makes me wonder, when we used to watch like Cheetahs back in the day, they didn't censor these motherfuckers' faces. We always saw the person who was getting got all the time. Just just another reminder that the 90s and the early 2000s was just a savage era. Like, period. Tesla. <laughs> okay. And he's going to be taking photos of you. Okay. Beautiful. Michael. It's so oh, gorgeous. Yeah. My brother. My brother. Yo, just sit back, relax, you know, enjoy the shoot, I guess. Okay. Yeah, great. If you want, just grab yourself a water in the fridge. I appreciate that. Got you. All right, Chelsea. Uh, so we got these uh, okay. three shirts yeah. where we're doing, uh, you know, this promo for this influencer. Right. Tesla. Uh, did you bring... Uh, Leggings and yes, jeans. I did. Okay, I need to show you, but I actually got two more. So I have a, a more these than ones. Yeah, just in case. Michael successfully completed his job. It's like he's in the cut, but he's nervous as shit. Like, it's it's so crazy. Like, he, everybody's in on it except her, and I just know Brother Man is just hoping she curves this dude's advances. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want our own partners passing these exams? Which, let's be honest. My boy needs a diaper change. He's shitting himself. Job in bringing Chelsea here. Now we could move on to completing our next objective, which was to get Blake and Chelsea by themselves. That meant that Michael and Denzel would have to make up an excuse to exit the scene and join me in the back parking lot. Here's your outfit. Okay. And then the restroom is right over there. Michael would be making up his excuse first, but not yet. For now, we wanted Michael to simply play it cool and let Chelsea get comfortable with the whole quote unquote photo shoot. Walmart t shirts. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, wow. Summertime vibes, huh? <laughs> wow. Good night, Molly, baby, you know? yeah. What's your name again? Chelsea. Chelsea. Yeah. Everything ready to go? Good though? Yeah, we're all good, bro. We're okay. all good. Where do you want me? Okay, so we're gonna actually have you over here in front of this little Tesla. Okay. Give me a summer vibe, okay? A I want you to, vibe. yeah, act like you're at the beach. You know, let your hair flow okay. a little bit, okay? I want your little shoulder over here and just look back. Okay. It's the like fact that he's not even a photographer. Yeah. Just like that. You see that? <laughs> okay, we count of three. One, two, and. Despite not being an actual photographer, Denzel did a really good job at selling his role. After snapping pics of Chelsea in the first shirt, it was then time for her to change into the second shirt. Is he doing nothing? There we go. There we go. All right, so for this time, I'm gonna have you come over here. I know a little gonna, bit about that t-shirt. Okay, I'm just gonna go Lord over knows. here. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Right, isn't it? It's so beautiful. I wish I had this car. I'm driving a Honda Civic 96, okay? <laughs> hey, <laughs> it AMG, works. That's all that matters. <laughs> it all works. Right, so pop your leg out over here. There you go. And you're going to look that way. Oh. Act like you're going to Starbucks to get your pumpkin frappuccino. Okay. okay, there we go. You ready? Five, six, seven, in. Let's get to the third one. Okay. That's all needed for that one. Okay. So not only did Denzel sell his role, he also did a good job at making Chelsea comfortable and not suspicious of anything. The time had come for Chelsea to now change into her third and final outfit, which also meant that the time had come for Michael to make up his excuse to exit the scene. Hey, we're gonna go on to the uh, personal roller ride. How good is the roller ride? I don't know which one you're saying. Just gonna step outside and you call, all right? Just right outside, okay? I'm just gonna be a uh, quick phone call, okay? Just text me, okay? And just like that, Michael was out and making his way to join me. All right, here comes Michael. What is good, Michael? Welcome to my office, sir. With Michael now in the car, all that was left to do was wait for Denzel to make up his excuse to exit the scene. She didn't hear not a yeah. damn thing. I think so. I think it's in the car. Oh, okay. Yeah. You ready for your final shoot? Yeah. How are you doing? I feel like an asshole. It's like, dude, this guy, he doesn't trust his girlfriend, whatever, but I have reasons. Yeah, but yeah. at the same time, it's like if nothing happens, then I look like the biggest fucking douchebag. 
On a scale of one to ten, how confident are you that there's this is gonna have a good positive turnout? Six. Six? Six out of ten? No, not bad. Sixty percent. It's like a D. <laughs> Six out of ten, right? Which isn't bad. I mean, I, I guess that's above average. I don't I don't know. I guess if he was out of ten, they'd be married, right? Scale him one to ten. How much you trust your partner? Like a, have you sit right here on this beautiful chair? Yes. And then just, just, just fill it out. Man, you, you better look at the camera. You better fill it. I really fucking like this girl. Uh huh. But it's just, there's things that you know, like they sit in the back of your mind. Uh oh. And you're like, this can't be true. Right. It, it keeps mounting and mounting and mounting, and then you're like, fuck, I need to know for sure. Yeah. No, I get you. I you get know. You. It could go straight up to fucking shit creek. And that would be fucking, that'd be piss of fucking horrible for me. I'm actually putting a, a GoPro up here as well. Oh. Because, um, you know, just, just she, might, she, might, she might want to use it for her little YouTube channel. Okay. Is that okay with you? Yeah, okay, sure. awesome. Just want to get some confirmation before you, you know, little try YouTube to come for my channel. neck, girl. Okay? You all good? Yeah, we good, brother. I'm going to just go out real quick to go see how these look on my computer because I kind of oh. left in my car. Um, I'll be back in a couple minutes, though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay cool. so they're going to leave her behind with the manager. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, I think Denzel is making his way out here. You could actually keep all three of those shirts. Sure. Do you want any water by chance? Yeah, I'll take the water. Perfect. Oh, here comes Denzel. Here comes Denzel. How was it? I can that barely hear you, dude. Where I put the phone to here, like I can barely hear you, but it sounded funny. It sounded like you were doing a good job, though. Yeah, dude, that was so freaking stressful. Really? Why? Wow. Yeah, I mean, it, was, it felt organic, but it was just. I kept trying to come up with stuff, <laughs> but he bought it, so. He did his thing. I would fell for it. All done. So stand I would fell for it. So we could send you back in, okay? Lit. And then we have to send you back in, sir. So what, uh, like, what got you into modeling? Well, I always wanted to be sort of a kid. I was a super tall kid. Okay. Um, always tallest in my class. Everybody said you should model. So I did. I kept getting into it. Moved to LA, but it's been a lot harder than, I don't know, like I said. Oh, no, yeah. It's a, it's a cutthroat industry for it's sure. Hell yeah, because you don't just pack your bags up, go to L.A. and automatically become a supermodel. I mean, it's not how life works. Yeah, that's just how L.A. rolls. Yeah. So Blake could now finally execute the primary objective for phase number one, which was for him to intrigue Chelsea with what he supposedly does. After doing so, he then also had to get Chelsea's number in order to keep in touch with her throughout the week. Remember, prior to today, Blake has not had any communication with Chelsea whatsoever. Michael has been the quote-unquote middleman who has helped us put everything together thus far. I mean, if you want, I could definitely help you out with your foot in the door. Really? Yeah, definitely. Wow. I mean, I could get you 20 to 30 gigs. Wow. You don't see how, like, beautiful and attractive you are? <laughs> oh, I mean... <laughs> You know what I mean, you know what I mean. He's making his move. How did you feel, Chelsea? Her energy, her vibe, how did you feel her? She was like a sunshine. She was very oh, 20 to 30 yeah. gigs? She reminded me a lot of Taylor Swift. Okay. Yeah. Okay. She looked like a little Taylor Swift to me. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It could be both. <laughs> <laughs> He's just chopping it up. Yo, this this is what I was saying. He's just chopping it up like it's just another day. Meanwhile, brother man's in the cut with his heart in his throat. Shitting bricks. This dude enjoys his job way too much. Start off with you. We start off with small gigs, like for example, what, what we're doing today. And then we, we go on to the next step, which is the bigger gigs. We would line up film work, photo shoots. You got the look, so yeah, but yeah, no pressure, no rush. Like I said, I see potential in you. I would love to work with you, but I don't want to like, you know, force this upon you. No, I don't feel like that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I will Definitely, definitely. Let me get your number. Okay. It is. And just like that, our main objective for phase number one was complete. All that was left to do now was simply end this phase. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to send you a text right now. Okay. So contrary to what some of you may have thought, Blake was not supposed to ask Chelsea on a date during this phase. This phase was simply meant for Chelsea to meet Blake, be intrigued by what he does, and for Blake to get her number in order to ask her on a date in phase number two. Okay, we're good. Okay, Blake said we're good. Finally, I'll be back. <laughs> Finally. I'll let y'all know. Yes. I gotta use the restroom really badly. I'll be back. Okay. After Denzel walks in, we're gonna give it two minutes, and then you can go back in. Hi. Oh, hey. 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 It was good. It was, it was really good. It was great, though. So oh, elaborate, man. I wouldn't have <laughs> seen anything coming. For all your work, you're really freaking.
freaking amazing. Beautiful as heck. You're gonna go far, girl. Alrighty then, Michael. You can go on ahead and go back inside then. Remember, act's completely normal. Nothing happened. Good luck. We're gonna keep in touch, okay? He looked like he wears I mean, his he emotions on his sleeve, man. Okay. Everything good, Denzel? Yeah, dude, they were awesome. They were pretty lit. So, here's the 200. You know what? I like your effort. Are you serious? Hey, because you did a nice job. Alrighty, guys, so that is it. That's it for today. Because I like your effort. Mr. Michael, baby. Everything good? Like I said, that's it, guys. That's it for today. I'm just waiting out here and stuff, and uh, probably for Blake or Denzel or someone to grab me. If they don't come grab me, then I'm just going to go inside in 20 minutes. I'm just waiting for a Michael right now. So I'll see you then. Just a mastermind at catching people laughing. Just a mastermind. So nice meeting you. Be safe. Like, these plans are so elaborate that it takes days. Like, the shows that we're accustomed to, this would just be one big skit. Like, she would have got exposed right then and there. No, this is just the first step. Like, I would have got got. I would have got got. You know what I'm saying? With our final objective complete, phase one was officially over. We could now move on to phase number two. For phase number two, Blake would have to keep in touch with Chelsea and eventually reiterate to her that he could in fact help her boost her modeling career if she was willing mm. to go on a date with him. Now we wanted to film Blake asking Chelsea on a date in person, but unfortunately Blake didn't have time because he was super busy with his clothing line. So instead, we simply instructed Blake to ask Chelsea on a date over text message. Blake, what is good? Dude, what is good, Mr. Sergio? Okay, so I know we can't execute this phase in person, but like I told you, text her and make your move, but don't make it too quickly because you don't want to creep her out. You don't want to look thirsty and stuff. It's, it's going to be kind of weird because you can't read her, you know, because you're going to be asking her out over like text message and stuff. So just do your best. And then whenever you're done with the conversation, just send me like screenshots of it. And, and yeah, you know, okay, sounds good. Don't forget, send me those screenshots. When you're done, you gotta get me one of those hoodies too. <laughs> what do you call it? What are you calling your clothing line? This is your plug right here. Nice. Nice, you gotta get me one of those suckers. <laughs> Blake ended up asking Chelsea to a dinner date at Mastro's. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Mastro's, don't worry, you're not alone. I've never been there myself, but it's pretty much just the high end steakhouse in Beverly Jeez. Hills. Now, Chelsea's response to Blake's offer was interesting, to say the least. But in the end, she ultimately agreed to Blake's. Do you know Michael is my boyfriend? Well, not really too really. How should I hold you? I'm not sure if I can spend you guys in one second. Well, we're dating. Okay. I mean, yeah, we've been six, six or special for a while, but started dating after that. Invitation. Feel free to pause the video if you guys want to read it word for word. But after we see trying to read it word for word, I get it. Him over to Michael and invited him to come over to gather his thoughts and to see if he still wanted to move on to phase number three. I know I've already sent you the screenshots of the text messages and you've already read them, but in case you need a refresher, you can scroll through them right here. If you need a refresher. You know, she's a fucking whore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, but I ain't gonna front. I need you guys to like really be in tune. If a dude asks your shorty for a number, is that cheating? Because a lot of people feel like it is. Me personally, if I'm dating you, you don't need to be getting no other guy's number. For what? But I like the angle that he took because he's offering her an opportunity. I don't know what the text message you say, but this nigga clearly, he, he's off that already. <laughs> he's <laughs> off me, that. Man. Like fucking the shit winds are coming yeah it, it was honestly it was an interesting conversation i honestly did not expect it to be like that like it was pretty lengthy it was yeah. pretty long and but it was pretty interesting like i didn't i didn't expect her to like try you know, it like that or say I, that i really you're you know if i went any any more into it though i felt like i was gonna read penthouse letters it's just fucking ridiculous so blake pretty much ended the conversation though by saying that he had a meeting to get to and that he'll just text her later and stuff and then yeah i told him to hold off on texting until we got like your reactions and to see if you still wanted to go through with this like i said this is basically phase number two right over here so if you still want to continue this we'll move on to phase number three and then that's when you can confront her if you wanted to confront her so basically we're gonna see if she goes for the paul walker look-alike as opposed to fucking opie here <laughs> this is gonna be dude this is just what did you compare yourself to who opie who's opie he's a little fucking redhead dude from fucking <laughs> way back in the day and was like whistling and shit now i'm gonna be fucking whistling home alone <laughs> so fuck. this is what this is all right this is my plan i'm just gonna say my plan okay <laughs> i'm still hoping but the other thing is like you know 
Yeah. If he all of a sudden I just walk in there and she's sitting on his fucking face, well, we got a yeah. problem. Yeah. <laughs> you know? What? That's what I'm going to miss. If it does Bruh. Some shit, man. Cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> we all love cheeks, don't we? <laughs> Come on now. So with phase number two now officially complete, we gave Blake the green light to continue texting Chelsea and solidifying their rendezvous. We were now moving on to phase number three. Now phase number three would not be taking place at Mastro's. Instead, it would be taking place in this photo slash video studio that we rented out. Mastro's was unfortunately just way out of our budget. To get Chelsea here though, we had Blake tell Chelsea that prior to their dinner reservation, he had a big meeting with a man by the name of Muba. Blake told Chelsea that Muba was an executive from he a just, big yo, brand who won He just has dudes on deck to play roles, bro. Like, how are you... At this point, I mean, I already admit it, I would have been Gaga, but like, jeez, this dude is... One that will sponsor the talent that Blake supposedly manages. Now, because of this big, important meeting, Blake told Chelsea that it was best to meet up at this photo studio and then head to Mastro's together in Blake's Maserati, which was actually not Blake's, it was actually Muba's, but he graciously let us use it for the video. No, no, this is a completely different area. Perfect. So I'll see you at three. Yeah, that sounds good. Awesome. See you then. Okay, bye. Bye. What is that? What does that tell you? It tells me that you're a fucking liar, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna rip this broad a fucking pot. That's not gonna happen. Even even if she's doing it for her career, like that's that's the other that's the end of it. Now, Blake also told Chelsea that he wasn't sure if the meeting was going to be done by the time Chelsea would arrive. So just in case it wasn't, Blake would have his assistant Rachel there to let Chelsea inside and escort her to a good waiting area. Now, of course, Rachel would be seating Chelsea here because this is where Michael would have the opportunity to confront her. He just sent to the address, right? Blake, just, just continue to keep it just prepared for me. Look at my man's body language. Look at this body. Like, he's contemplating every gift he ever bought her. Um, <laughs> oh, I know, yo. It's like, I know this level of sickness. Like, he knows what's about to go down. He knows she's so, like, like, like bro, you know. Everything is going through my, my man's head, head right now. Everything. Everything. Here to bending, so, like, nothing changes. Right, right. Suit is red. Rachel, you know what you're doing. You got your lines down. Booba. He's ready to abort mission. That's a fact. <laughs> like, he's seen enough. He's seen enough. Forget forget stage three. Uh, like, let, let's pull the plug on this. Be in this room with <laughs> she belongs to the streets. But you, 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 your, your job is yeah, very valuable. Yeah. <laughs> with our hidden cameras ready to go and 3 p.m. right around the corner, it was time to put our game plan into motion. All righty, guys. So Chelsea should be here within the next 10 to 15 minutes. We are going to be hiding in the car and just to be safe. Better safe than sorry. The primary purpose of phase number three was to simply see if Chelsea would actually show up and follow through with everything. If she did, we would then give Michael the opportunity to confront her. Hello. Hi, I'm here. Thanks. Perfect. Uh, Our patience eventually paid off. Chelsea had arrived, and Blake proceeded to further instruct her on how to get inside. All righty, this is Blake. She's here. Okay. Michael and I hid as Chelsea made her way to the front door as Blake had instructed her to do. Planned, Rachel greeted Chelsea at the door, reiterated to her that Blake was in a very important business meeting that would be over soon, and then proceeded to walking her to the makeup room. So Chelsea is now in the makeup room. Damn. Rachel has officially walked. The bird has the finally room. landed in right the now. Nest. Blake will give it like it's two over. minutes, Look and my son. then he him. Look my son, jittery. Yo, you guys ever watch wrestling and like your, like a tag team match and your favorite wrestler would be getting his ass whooped and he would constantly like try to reach out his arm to get tagged? And then the wrestler just waiting to get in the ring is just, I can't wait. And he's extending his arms trying to get that tag because, you know, once you tag him, he's about to lose his shit and wipe the whole ring out. We walk Chelsea into the makeup room. Look at my right son. now, Blake will give it like da, 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 Nervous. Into the makeup room. And then from there, my friends, whenever Nervous. we go, we can just head over there and just I'm just trying to fucking compose myself. I'm trying to be a fucking gentleman here. I don't Do, like, are you regretting anything right now? A little bit because, man, like, I'm going to fucking flip. No. Saw that coming. 
I told you, he, he doesn't even need to see this. I got you these flowers. You look gorgeous, by the way. We'll leave here in like five minutes. I just have to finish up this business deal with his executive. To keep Chelsea seated there, Blake told her that he was just waiting on some final paperwork that he had to sign. This, of course, was so we could give Michael enough time to make his entrance. He's actually a big sponsor guy. So he's gonna like help me get a few gigs for possibly you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at this fucking vlog, man. So you're about to walk in there with Inferno, right? Fuck me. And what do you think she's going to say? She's, she's going to act fucking dumbfounded by all this. That's exactly what she's going to fucking pull. <laughs> I guarantee you. So you think she's going to play dumb or something? Or she's all oh, absolutely. She's gonna, I know she's going to fucking do something like that. Yeah, it's going to be a lot better for us if Blake is just in every single car. Yeah. Yeah, just that fucking parking lot. Shitty. Whenever you're ready then, Michael. Fuck it, man. Let's go. Fuck this place. Fuck this place. Oh, he's okay. 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 <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. No, dude, just play. You just play sports. <laughs> So with phase number three on the verge of completion, I wanna take this time to remind you guys to smash that like button if you're enjoying this video. If we can get 100,000 likes, we're gonna be giving away some of our new fire merch in our Discord server. The link to our Discord will be in the description below, so smash and destroy that like button. I also wanna shout out our friend AJ. He's actually the one who helped us build our Discord server, so go show his channel some love and then come chat with us in the beautiful community that he built us. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of this video. I hope that it was worth the wait. And most importantly, I hope you guys have your talkies because you guys already know this shit's gonna be good. He wants all the smoke. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, what the fuck? Are you fucking serious right now? Are you fucking shitting me right now? What does this fucking look like? Why do you think I'm here? You fucking traded me in for a steak dinner. That's why I'm recording you. What does it mean? You're fucking cheating on me. I just fucking by caught you. you. Yeah, yeah. By, by sitting here and talking, that's cheating? Wake the fuck up. One camera, two camera. This is a fucking setup. Everything you're spewing to me is fucking bullshit. What does that mean? It means you're a fucking cheater. That's exactly what it means. How am I a cheater? What have I done? What have you done? What have I done? Have done Honey, I fucking know everything. You were going on a fucking date with him. Come on. <laughs> I was just trying to get started on some business meeting. Chelsea, I don't know who you're trying to fucking bullshit here, kid. Seriously, I fucking know everything. Don't make me fucking lose my shit. Do not this make me lose my fucking shit. This, this wasn't thing. a fucking, you're full of fucking shit. You're bullshitting it's me. Like a business, it's like a business really? Meeting. Just a business you meeting? Do it all the time, so why are they calling you private? Oh. It's just the fact that. While this conversation is going down, not only do you have like seven cameras and like three people holding cameras in your face, but the cast is like standing in the background just listening to the whole conversation. It's beyond awkward. She is, she's got, like, you know what I'm saying? You just got at that point. You just my got. Shit. Do not make me lose my fucking shit. This wasn't a fucking, you're full of fucking shit. You're bullshitting me. Really? Just a business meeting? Oh. His what? His talent agency? Yeah, he's a talent manager. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, not actually a talent manager. Have, have you not connected the fucking dots? It was never a business. Holy shit. This this entire thing, Chelsea, was a uh, was 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 a, was a test. Michael and Blake have actually been working together to help Michael find out if he would or wouldn't end up mm. together with him. And so we actually had Blake pretend to be a talent manager. We had him pretend to want to sign. Don't have an agency. They don't have an agency. He yeah, he doesn't have yeah, an agency. This is, yeah, not mine. This is not his production studio. This location is actually rented out and stuff. The location where you were taking the photo shoots with the shirts, that was not real. Yeah, I know. I'm a fucking mastermind, huh? Really? <laughs> For what? <laughs> you're a fucking cheating bitch and I, you fucking know it. I am cheating. Yes, you're a fucking cheater. How? You fucking traded me up. You're a fucking cheating whore. You're a cheating whore. I think you read the messages three times. You know, I think I did read the messages. I read every fucking single text message with every fucking period and exclamation point. Well, then you can't fucking read. I never said it was fake. I never meant it to be fake. I mean, from the, from the messages. I read 87 texts, and, and if you both misinterpreted the messages, then I'm sorry, but maybe you should get your eyes checked Kay. because it wasn't a date. Look at those flowers, huh? Those are fucking nice flowers. You took those with open arms, didn't you? Yes, nice to get flowers. Nice to get flowers, huh? Maybe you should take notes. Fucking fuck. <laughs>
I know she ain't trying to smell like that. I get it. I get it. You're part of a major sting operation. I know you came here for an opportunity because we thought you were talking to one of these high-profile uh, talent agents. But you're not about to throw this dick. Not at that moment. This nigga's about two. Like, look at his body language. You know, sometimes you get so angry, you got to stare at the stars to sort of grab your composure. Because if you look at whatever is getting you upset, you know you're about to do 25 years to life. That's this man right here. That's this man. So if I was shorty, I'd keep up with the lie. I'd keep up with the front. But the dig? Don't dig him. Don't dig him. Don't dig him. Take note. You got some fucking balls. Seriously, you got some fucking balls. So, so, so Chelsea, Blake was like instructed to like make this, make it clear to you that this was like a date. So you're saying that you didn't know that this was a date. You're saying no, that. I thought it was just going to be turned on to the agency. I didn't know it was going to be like anything more than that. And I'm sorry that this is not impressive. No, you know something? I, I'm sorry that I was fucking dating a girl with a fucking IQ lower than 50. I can't fucking believe that because if somebody gave me flowers, I would think they'd like me a little bit more than a friend. I'm, just, I'm not being mean, honey. I'm, I'm pointing out facts. And this whole room knows the facts. You're a fucking cheating whore. I'm fucking done with you. What's wrong with you? Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Yeah, what's wrong with you? You fucking know everything that I fucking have gone through. And yet you still fucking treat me just for a steak dinner? You said yes, so how is that fair? Oh, you're gonna come after me with that bullshit? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. I don't see how that's fair. Oh, fuck, you know, fuck you. Fucking screw. I don't have fucking time for you anymore. We're fucking done. Seriously, we're fucking done. You know you're in the fucking wrong because you give me the fucking politician bullshit where you just smile and fucking go like this. <laughs> don't don't fucking dance around the questions here. You know I exactly. I haven't answered any questions. I've answered every single one. Oh yeah. What were you fucking planning on doing after this, huh? Because I have a good idea. I was gonna so go home. I was gonna go home. You were gonna go home? Yeah, not alone. I thought I would take this. <laughs> you thought. Back to you really thought that? Yeah. Jesus fucking. So you thought this man was gonna sign you to an agency? Well, he gave you flowers. You guys exchanged numbers. You guys had lengthy conversations throughout the week in anticipating for this moment. Um, and you just thought you were just going to get a contract to sign with a top agency without having to give up anything? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, Chelsea. What's more than that? Sorry. Well, you know something? Fuck you. Seriously. You're upset over one dinner. One dinner? One dinner. Honey, you were gonna be the dinner. That's what you were fucking hoping. Fuck you. Fuck you. <coughs> no? I got an action for you. Right fuck you. Why don't you fuck off back to Lego Land, you fucking twat? Um. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, if there's anything that I learned from this shit, honestly, there's nothing that I learned from this shit. Let's be let's let's be honest. Like, it was an opportunity. She saw an opportunity, and we all knew her parachute was gonna be. Hey, this was just an opportunity for me to get an incredibly nice gig. But yet you were talking to this man all throughout the week, and your boyfriend didn't know it. You lied to your boyfriend about where you were gonna be. I mean. But let's be honest, if you had, if you didn't have a hidden agenda, why would you lie? You understand what I'm saying? Um, the fucking whore thing, like, I mean, the, the insults, I get it. You're mad. Everybody says a whole bunch of dumb shit when you're angry. So you're just going for the jugular. She didn't fuck him, but you could tell. You could tell where it was going. You could tell where it was fucking going. Um, not the messy of mess. Uh, like I said, I didn't really learn anything from this shit, man. Like, people just get got. Uh... If you guys enjoyed this, this episode, please like, share, and subscribe as I'm going to continue to upload more content and continue to dig and look for more interesting shit. Funny shit, interesting shit, and hopefully we can all learn from something. Leave a comment, man. Rock with your boy. Um, it's your boy, Evan King. I'm out.